Hi, it's Patty Morgan. I'm sorry, I don't know where to look. Here we go. I always say that to the beginning. All right, one of my things that um that I always tell my students is when they when they do something, just try to explore and play around with it. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I got an iPhone. I'm away. And one of the uh, critiques I got by my students was when doing videos, why am I not doing what I love? Like, why am I do not doing the art? And because I started off really on this YouTube channel doing product reviews of subscription boxes because I thought it was a good place to start. I love fashion. Um, I love all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm doing, I'm actually doing what they told me. I have a couple of students to their assignments is just to make videos, lots of videos of anything. So I'm doing the same thing as them and then when we get back in September we're going to be playing around. So again, even for you, just have fun with the video, pick a lot of videos because this is going to be a combination of art and technology. Um, again, this is an iPhone, I got the tripod and I got the selfie stick which you just screw right into the little tripod. I got it on Amazon for $18, a little kit, it came with with this little Bluetooth thing to take photographs if you want it to from far away, take a group picture. And it also came with a lens, um, like a fish eye lens, two of them. One didn't work too good though. For $18, go for it. If I could tell my students about that. Okay, what I've been doing, as you can tell, my hair is up. I'm not doing a facial. It's just that it's very humid here in Isla. It's right off of Cancun, Mexico. Uh, I'm here teaching. But I've also been working on my art, which is nice to have a nice opportunity for that. Um, if any time you go away, bring a sketchbook. It does, don't bring a giant sketchbook. In fact, even one of the things I require in the classroom is not the, a giant sketchbook. I want my kids to have a smaller sketchbook. I would say 5 by 8 is a good size to start out with because I want them to carry it around with them. I also like it when it's hard. You know, this part here, hard cover. Again, because it's more supportive. They can throw it in their school bag. Um, they take it out just like they take out their phones when they get bored or when they're in between times they can take this out and just jot things down I use mine to I guess I, I actually put in all my stuff from my plane and again this is like just a spare just how I have it um, I write stuff in it this is another little sketch I did anytime traveling um, get a container for your art supplies um, I actually started off with this right here. This was full of different things. I put them in cups for now, just so it's a little bit easier working because I have a hard time getting stuff out of here. All right, but just a half shot of a nail file in there. But anyway, just get a plastic container, throw your colored pencils in there. They're great for travel. Be careful in hot places for um, crowns because they'll melt. So again, just throw, start collecting different things around your house and put them in a plastic container, or you can, this is like not glass. Or you could get a nice bag, it could be a makeup bag, Ziploc baggie, whatever you have around for your art supplies. The other thing I suggest too is traveling. Watercolors are great for traveling. They, they travel well, They're, they don't, if you use a regular glass, you're not going to hurt anyone's glass in their house by using watercolors. So watercolors is a great thing for traveling. You don't have to be an artist to do artwork. Everybody says, oh, but I'm not an artist. And I'm going to show you that you don't have to be, you just have to fun exploring um, and, and really just have a nice time and it's a form of journaling it's just such a great feeling in fact I think after people see me doing it they're like oh, I can do that which is a good, a good thing okay so again this I just started doing different times um, I write all kinds of stuff locations I just write it and then I'll draw right on top of it after I'm done with it that's backwards I didn't want to go in the same direction in my journal or whatever you want to call it so I cut stuff out, I collage, this, I guess some people have, like this is all different things in fashion that I love, like I would love a designer bag like that. Probably not going to get a designer bag like that, but I love it. And then this idea of a jewelry box, it's clear because jewelry is art, I love that too because you can see it in the bedroom. This is a look I love, I don't, I think for any age, just a white shirt, jeans, I should put it like a little sandal, so I put that in there as an idea. These bow ties, I just thought that might be a good idea to do something like that in the classroom. A lot of the boys for the prom, they all have bow, bow ties, it's the coolest bow ties in the world. So this might be a project. So that's just a collage I did. Um, do, 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 do. Here we go. Okay, this is an example of a drawing that I did on the beach. It doesn't look exactly like the girl, but I just did a little drawing. I did it in brown, then I outlined in black. And then of course the, the flowers are easy. Um, and then how it turned into a piece of art. Then I got home, 
and I had all this paper pre-cut the to the house after going to the beach, and I did this painting of the of the girl. Again, I'm not really so much of a portrait artist, but I do do enjoy drawing you know people and all that stuff. So this is another one. Now when I get back home to Philadelphia, then I could do my oil painting, and I got references. I got photographs. I got my journal and then I got my, this is a watercolor right here. Just a simple watercolor, you wouldn't even know it's a watercolor because of the, the colors I used. All right, so this is just again another example of, of how your sketchbook takes you to the next level and the process of photographs also. And of course your memory and the feelings that you get when you travel. So that is going to be, that is an example. Okay, so what we covered here was if you go away, one of the things that's nice is a book right here. People, if you're a writer, of course, it could be a journal book, it could be a combination. You can, I actually, mine's functional. I said even names. If I don't know someone's name, I write it down. Some words in Spanish, addresses that I need to know. I could just show real fast to the, the cab driver. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So, and then I draw on top of it and just have a good time at different things that reflect. So the flowers. Right now it's turtle season. I'm in Isla. I'm right off of Cancun. And, oh, start collecting color pencils, markers are good for traveling, and keep them in a safe spot. So if you don't want to get your markers, if you're traveling, to get into your suitcase. I keep mine in my travel, tra not my travel bag, because a lot of times when I'm going here, or away, I, I actually am drawing on the plane. I'm not doing watercolor on the plane, but I'm drawing on the plane. But just make sure it's in a secure place. Again, this is perfect because it's nice and secure. The markers, if it opens up, it's not going to get anywhere. So that's a good, good thing for storage. If you look for something plastic or a little bit have a better case. So that's it. That's video one. Now I'm going to do video two. So uh, hang on and then click below and then you'll see my next video of, of some, a project that we're going to do together. I didn't hook up the Bluetooth yet. Let me see if it works. Oh, that didn't work. Ah, not everything works. I just put my hand up.